Drew Carney out of the studio this morning and he is getting a first hand look. He's getting an experience on the water with handmade human powered boats that float only by means of milk cartons and jugs. Yeah, he's live at Westmoreland Park this morning previewing the milk carton boat races. Good morning again, Drew. Good morning, Brenda and Christine. That, uh, that young man right there is Eli and Eli is paddling the tsunami. Eli, give me a thumbs up if you're feeling good this morning. There you go. All right, Eli liking his milk carton boat. Uh, so let's uh, set the stage where we are this morning. Westmoreland Park Casting Pond, Southeast Portland, right here in the Selwood neighborhood. And this is where you can check out this weekend's milk carton boat races. Details on that right here in front of your face. <laughs> it is Sunday. Racing action begins at high noon. So if you want to come out and check it out, it's free by the way. It is free, but again, you'll want to be here by noon to see the very beginning of the racing action. It's going to be a perfect afternoon for milk carton boat races. They've been doing it now since 1973. That tells me 50 years, 50 years of milk carton boat racing here in Southeast Portland. A big part of the equation for this event right there along the sidelines. Royal Rosarians, good morning to you. This is the Royal Rosarian milk carton boat races they are of course the official greeters of the city of portland and they're greeting our sunrise audience on this wednesday morning or is it thursday it is thursday we are that much closer to the weekend <laughs> hey josh reynolds is the general manager at alpenrose and alpenrose has been the presenting sponsor of this event for the past couple of years yes. uh can you paint the picture i know we have some video from last year's actual race day can you paint the picture of what the scene is like out here? Yeah, it's a classic family event. It's going to have spectators, hundreds, lined up along the, the, uh, the, the shore here. We're going to have more than 40 boats competing in seven different classes, children, adults, kids, and adults. People go for speed. People go for design. I've already seen some previews of some really killer designs. Probably not going to be the fastest, but they're going to get the ooh and on, maybe win the People's Choice Award. Some boats built for speed, other, built, uh, other, uh, other boats built for show. Uh, you have a boat that you're going to get on here in just a few minutes, and Correct. it's the boat that is right next to us. So we'll swing yep. the camera back around. Uh, how do you know that this boat is constructed to hold all of your body weight? All of my body. Uh, <laughs> two uh, fundamental uh, approaches. Eight, uh, eight pounds, one gallon will carry eight pounds. Okay. So you kind of want to add that up, maybe add 20%, the frame, and then a little R&D is also good. So okay. when I trialed this out, I got a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> made some adjustments, came back, made sure I got the porch box accounted for, and then I was all good. Can't say this one was built for speed, but I like the style. Last thing I'll ask you, there is a, a fundraising component to this year's milk carton boat races. We're calling it Paddle to Prevent Hunger. How does that work? That's right. This year we partnered with the Sunshine Division. They run a food pantry in North Portland. Lots of need there. And I thought, what? I, I want to have an incentive for people to participate. So we said, we're going to add up every gallon, every half gallon, every quart used to construct the boats. Dip, uh, Pool that together and we'll donate that amount of milk to the Sunshine Division throughout the year. So maybe 2,500 gallons, 3,000 gallons. You're talking about all the, all the milk cartons used to build all, all the of them. All of them. We're just going to add them all up and that'll be our milk donation. Very, very cool. Okay, yeah, Sunshine Division, man, they've been around for more than 100 years now, providing food and clothing relief to families in need in the Portland area. Hey, kiddos, take a look at the camera. And all of you, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to race me this morning on your milk carton boats. You ready to do this? All right, race we will then, gang. The big event is this Sunday, the annual milk carton boat races in Southeast Portland. We'll have more coming up a little bit later here on Sunrise. <laughs> Those kids are gonna smoke you, Mr. Drew Carney, if you get out there and try and race them, whoa, but that's fun whoa, stuff. Whoa. Come on now. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thank you, Drew. This year's City Fair and Grand Floral Parade have already come and gone, but Portland's 2023 Rose Festival celebration isn't over yet. This coming <laughs> Sunday, a 50-year Rose Festival tradition returns to Southeast Portland. That's where our Drew Carney is this morning to tell us all about the annual Milk Carton Boat Races. Morning, Drew. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Brenda. <laughs> yes, we are live this morning at the Westmoreland Park Casting Pond in Southeast Portland. I have smartly removed myself from the water. There was no fear of falling into the water when you were outside of the water. <laughs> but we still have kiddos in the water this morning getting ready for those milk carton boat races for us. Uh, let me say good morning again to Laurel. Good morning, Laurel. Good morning. And let me say good morning to your brother. This is Eli. Good morning there, young man. Hello. Can you tell me the name of your boat again? Uh, the Tsunami. It's the Tsunami. And the name of your boat again is the? Milky Way. The Milky Way. 
We'll have more on how they constructed their boats here in a second, but let me remind you about the actual big day itself. It is this Sunday. The Royal Rosarians milk carton boat races begin at noon sharp. So they'll have early uh, registration and boat check-in earlier in the morning. By the way, it is too late to sign up to participate. They had so many people signing up during the early registration period. They're chock full of boats. But if you want to come check it out, by all means, do so. It is free on Sunday. Again, you can watch that racing action starting at noontime. All right. Back to my interview subjects. <laughs> uh, this looks like a piece of art. You have done a great job here. You've got the cow's head up front. You've got the artwork here in the back. I'll get out of the way. Uh, can you talk about the construction of the boat? Did you do this all yourself? Did you have any sort of parental help? My dad helped a lot with the building of the boat with the milk cartons and the wood, but my mom helped me make the roses, the cow, and I did the sign um, basically on my own. So it was a mother, father, and daughter effort. All three of you involved. Yes. And no one was pulling their hair out or getting frustrated. Everyone was smiling the entire time, right? <laughs> I've been there before with things like pumpkin carving. Pumpkin carving is supposed to be fun, and pumpkin carving always gets very frustrating. But all in all, a good experience for you, Mom and Dad, right? Yes. Now, here's the big question. Do you think that your boat is both better and faster than your brother's boat? Yes. See, see what he has to say about that. Eli, your sister just told us that she has the bigger, better, and faster of the two boats in this family. Uh, what do you have to say about that as we look at your tsunami? Um, uh, well, Laurel's boat d isn't faster or better. It's only a bit bigger. She may have you beat on big, but she does not have you beat on fast or better. Yep. <laughs> so she said that mom and dad helped her build her boat. Did you do this all by yourself, or did your parents help you as well? For me, it's just me and my dad, mostly. Okay. Boys. The boys hung out together in the garage and put this thing together. Yep. All right. I'm going to remind our audience one more time when they can check out the milk carton boat races. Do you want to show off just how fast your boat is? Maybe that would be a good visual for the TV camera. Sure. You ready to do it? All right. Be safe when you do it. I'm not a strong swimmer, so if you go in, by the way, I'm not going to be much of a help. We're going to have to rely on someone else to jump in there and help you out, okay? All right, here they go. Oh, there goes the tsunami. You want to go right next to your brother there? We'll see the Milky Way send itself off. And I'll remind our audience one more time, the big day is Sunday. High noon is when the racing action starts. Westmoreland Park Casting Pond in the Selwood neighborhood of Southeast Portland. 50 years. That's how long they've been doing this. Since 1973, the Royal Rosarians Milk Carton Boat Races gang will have more in the 6 o'clock hour as I send it back to the studio. <laughs> True, can I ask you one question? Because he's worried about like falling yes, in. Yes, please. Yeah. I thought the casting pond wasn't that deep. <laughs> do you know how deep it is? Well, you know, you do have an excellent point there, Brenda. <laughs> you do have an excellent point there, Brenda. But I don't care if it's even a foot deep. I, I like being dry. Yeah, oh no, I, I hear like ya. myself dry. I'm with you, brother. <laughs> I'm with you. You know that music, you know that face. It means Audrey Carney out of the studio this morning. He's getting first hand experience with handmade, human powered boats that float only by means of milk cartons and jugs. Yeah, he's live <laughs> at Westmoreland Park. He's previewing the milk <laughs> carton boat races. Hey, good morning, Drew. I believe you guys can confirm for me, Brenda and Christine, that we are starting with this drone shot over the top of the Westmoreland Park casting pond. So that is one of the vantage points we bring you on this Thursday morning. Uh, meanwhile, I am live right next to the pond in front of a group of kids that are looking to repeat as the champions of the annual Royal Rosarians milk carton boat races. Uh, real quickly, before we go any further, we already saw the drone shot. You've got this shot. We have a third shot. Uh, my man Eric Patterson behind the camera set up his GoPro on board one of the milk carton boats that we have out here. The boat belonging to Laurel. So there's three different looks, three different vantage points as we preview this Sunday's big event. Again, the Royal Rosarians milk carton boat races. 50th year, by the way, of this Rose Festival event. Now, back to the, uh, the men of the hour, if you will. I have and don't even think about reminding me or trying to help me. I'm going to do this on my own. August. Grayson. Eli. Yes. Parents. I didn't get the names of your parents, but you're kind of the focus point right now, so I think we're okay. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, last year, 
These three came out on the boat that I believe is called D&D, is that right? Yeah. What does D&D stand for? Dungeons and Dragons. Of course, yeah. I should have known that. They came out here with their D&D &D boat and they dominated the competition. We have some video from last year's event, uh, one year ago this coming Sunday. What do you think, uh, August? What was the key to you guys really dominating the competition out there on the water? I feel like the coordination between us three paddling, like we stayed focused on trying to paddle equally and uh, not falling in. <laughs> not very end. Not, oh, you fell in at the end? Mm -hmm. But yeah. the race was already won by that point? Yeah, that was the after parade. Was it like a celebratory splash on your part? Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Uh, the, we're looking at the boat, and I'm not, I'm not trying to knock your boat in any way, shape, or form. But it doesn't look all that impressive. It performed impressively. Is, do you think there's a secret here that I'm not seeing that really makes your boat, I'll ask you, Grayson, that makes your boat stand out amongst the rest? Well, I think it is a pontoon boat, which is proven to glide across water really, really quickly. Uh, and this is one of the best designs you can make of a boat in terms of, in terms of speed. Now, the, uh, I've got some dad types behind me. Were the dads helpful in building this boat? Yes, they, very much. Yes. All right. you, want, you want to give, you know, we, Father's Day has just come and gone, but would you like to give your dads collectively a big thank you, Dad? Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> There's a mom here as well. Should we thank mom too? Yeah. How, how about it real loud? Thank you, Mom! Now, is she all your moms? No. Uh, okay, no. I, but thank you, for, thank you for playing along. <laughs> uh, I, I do want to mention there is a fundraising component to this year's Royal Rosarians Milk Carton Boat Races. Uh, they are raising food donations and money this year for the Portland Police Bureau Sunshine Division. Of course, they have been around for more than 100 years, helping local families with food and clothing relief. So if you come out here on Sunday to check out, and it's free, by the way, to check out, the boat uh, milk carton boat races. You can also support the Sunshine Division. All right, guys. What was that? It's a lot of fun, too. Oh, hold on a minute. Wait, you got to get in front of the mic. That's a very important statement. You were trying to say, sir? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> One more time. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Copy that. <laughs> All right. High five to the champions. The People's <laughs> Choice Award winner last year dominating the competition. Yeah. We'll see if they can repeat on Sunday. It all starts at noon, gang. Well, the Rose Festival celebration did not end with the Grand Floral Parade. This coming Sunday, the milk carton races are back. Yeah, it's a 50-year tradition, and Drew is at Westmoreland Park with a preview. Morning, Drew. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Brenda. Oh, what a morning it is. It actually is a beautiful Thursday morning out here in southeast Portland. I am on board one of the milk carton boats that we have out here this morning. We were going to stage a little race here in just a moment. We have put together quite the presentation, if I do say so myself. We've got this shot from Eric Patterson, who is on the, uh, the far side of the pond. We have aerial coverage by way of Fly 8, our KGW drone. Uh, we have another shot that's set up right here on the boat next to me. This is Laurel's boat. I think, Laurel, once we start going, that camera will show you uh, paddling with all your strengths and abilities. So a lot to see here this morning and a lot to talk about because it is a huge event coming up on Sunday. The racing starts at noon. If you want to come and check it out for yourself in person, it's absolutely free. Always painted as a great family friendly event and it's back again this Sunday. There you see the details on your screen. The Royal Rosarians are behind this effort and you can find more information about the event on their website, royalrosarians.com. All right, next to me is one of the race participants. Where are you going? Don't go too far, Vin. Give me your hand this morning. I want to be right next close. Thank you. All right, here we go. Now we're together as one. Uh, because I talked to the D&D &D boys earlier, and I talked to Eli there, and I talked to Laurel last hour. Now I want to talk to you, Vin. Uh, have you ever participated in these milk carton boat races before? No, this is my first time. You're a first timer? Yeah. Very excited, I imagine. Yes. You've built quite yeah. the boat. It looks beautiful this morning. Mm -hmm. um, who helped you build this boat, can I uh, ask? My mom. She's up there. Oh, I see her. The she's, in the, she's like a very good mom. She's kind of in the background. Mm -hmm. She's letting her son have the spotlight while she just waits behind the camera cheering you on. Yeah, mom, she wants right? to be behind the camera. <laughs> she wants to be behind the camera. Yeah. I know a lot of people do. It takes a brave soul to be in front of the camera every day, I tell you. Yeah. Vin, are you ready to race this morning? Yes. Do you think you can beat the D&D &D boys? Uh, no. No? No, that's not what I want to hear. Yes, you can. Okay. If you believe it, Vin, you can do it. In fact, why don't I push you ahead a little bit? Now you got a head start, okay? 
On your marks, gang. Okay. <laughs> Get set and race towards that camera. The milk carton boat racing is underway on this Thursday morning. I will attempt to continue broadcasting while paddling. And I will broadcast to tell you that Alpenrose is Come once on. again a proud presenting sponsor of the race. Josh Reynolds is the general manager at Alpenrose. He is right to my left, while Lowe is paddling to my right. Oh, it's coming. Those D&D boys, darn it. They're too much for the rest of the competition. D&D &D was the people's choice winners at last year's main event. They just kicked some sunrise backside this morning on our segments. Hey, Vin, you were right. Those D&D &D boys are tough. They're tough and they're strong. But keep something in mind, Vin. There's three of them. There was only one of you and I. So that probably has a lot to do with why they were so far ahead of us. <laughs> we are out of time. It's been a great time out here. I want to give a round of applause to everyone for coming out early, participating, and giving us a yes. preview of this year's Royal Rosarians <laughs> Milk Carton Boat Race. Yeah, congratulations yeah. on those to those D&D &D guys, but also congratulations to everyone else because those My boats look wet. amazing.